when I have cages, all the tomatoes now. But I noticed an interesting thing. Uh, like you can see down there, there's a little tomato, you know, like an inch big started, but a lot of blossoms on. These are a couple of replacements I had to bring in because they got damaged too badly. You know, after I put these out, we had that storm and the only one that was in a tomato cage was the one that was the prototype cage. And I'll show you a thing I find interesting. Yeah, they're, they're doing good. But this is the prototype cage right here. Now, the other plants took quite a beating in the, in the weather. You know, it, it knocked them over, kind of flattened them on the ground. Now, tomatoes can take a, quite a beating and come back, you know. So it, it's not that big a deal. They're tough. But like I say, this one was in a cage. And now this one is like a foot higher than the other ones. And I think what it is, you know, a lot of times a plant under stress will like blossom and, and start putting on fruit earlier than one that's just uh, putting all uh, the strength into growing. You know, because like now these had to kind of rebuild their whole system, you know, and reinforce the stem. Whereas this one, since it didn't have to, it just kept growing. But I noticed that these ones that were under stress blossomed earlier. Now I see this has got a whole bunch of blossoms on it. But it, since it didn't have to try to, to rebuild its stem, it put all its power into growing. But like I say, that's the only one that was in a cage. You know, the rest of these I just got finished with. And they were all flattened out on the ground, you know, tipped over and, and squashed the way things do in the strong wind and rain. But they all came back well. But I think that that whole cage thing Yeah, there's a lot of blossoms on that one. Yeah, I think this will work fine. But as an experiment, I had some spare plants, because I was, you know, I plant a bunch and then I plant a few spares in case something needs to be replaced, like these two I had to replace. Well, what I did is I took a half dozen of the spare plants and moved them over to the other garden without cages, and I'll see how they work out. You know, just as a, but like I say, these are the heirloom Abe Lincoln tomatoes. I like them because they're a, a smaller, like say a baseball size or, or even smaller tomato, but they're a smooth, you know, they don't have the deep crevices in them and stuff, so they aren't susceptible to getting mold and stuff on them, and they can very easily. And the thing about them is they've got a long growing season. You know, they'll start early, as early as any other tomato that I've ever had. And they'll continue up until frost. But I need to have a lot of them so I get enough at a time to, to run the canner. You know, that's why so many tomatoes. You know, because to make it efficient, I like to run both canners. So you just need to have a lot at a time to do it that way. But this cage, no cage deal. You know, the fact that that one, like I say, foot taller, you know, that just surprised me. But I'll kind of keep an eye on it, see if 
if maybe that one since it put all its power into growing won't produce as many though I do see a lot of blossoms on it but we'll see it's an experiment but at least I got them under control now I mean I can actually roll it till between them you know it's not a big deal uh, there's the buggers that are out of control turnips I gotta thin them out uh, you know I planted one package of turnips which makes two rows of turnips which is like uh, at least a row and a half too many they are productive and as long as I'm out here I'll show you that uh, that lonely cabbage that I think is a cabbage though you know I've got my regular cabbages over here and it doesn't really look like them but it's something in the cabbage family and it is growing and also these are those potatoes those B grade that I planted you can see they're up and doing fine all except there's a spot right here where one didn't come up though right next to it it did but dog tracks I think the dog tramped through here and squashed them down so we'll see that if that happens sometimes they just come a little later it just takes a little longer after the ground has been packed down but tomatoes are looking good looks very organized with those nice cages but it was a big production but I'll never have to do that again.